Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about rule of thirds. If you are taking photographs for your own pleasure, then you only have to come up with pictures that please you. You may be able to overlook the huge empty spaces or the people with their heads cut off, but no one else will. Producing pictures that are pleasing to someone other than yourself will make your photography much more rewarding. The most popular rules in photography is the rule of thirds. The rule envisions two horizontal and two vertical lines trisecting an image with four intersecting points. You place your main subject where the lines intersect rather than centered in the frame. For example, placing the horizon on an upper or lower line helps create a well-composed landscape photo. For portraits, placing a person where the lines intersect vertically produces a more compelling photo. A rule of third grid is built into some digital cameras. It can be turned on and viewed on the LCD, just like the picture shown here. Use it as a guide when taking a photo. If you don't achieve this layout just right with a camera, apply the principle when cropping an image. Rule of thirds equals nicer pictures. Using the rule of thirds helps produce nicely balanced, easy on the eye pictures. Also, as you have to position things relative to the edge of the frame, it helps get rid of tiny subjects surrounded by vast empty space syndrome. One last thing. Once you have got the hang of the rule of thirds, you will very quickly want to break it. This is fine. As I said earlier, these rules are best used as guidelines, and if you create a better image by bending or ignoring the rules, then fire away. Learn digitalphotographynow.com, your guide to digital photography. Taking beautiful digital pictures made simple. Tips on how to use a digital camera like a pro and an insider look at the latest digital cameras. To get a free digital photography report of your very own, please head on over to www.learndigitalphotographynow.com.